I'm gonna let y'all check out Scatty Black. Y'all can see that thing in the garage right now. All right. Light film on it. Still a couple of bubbles in the film, but you know, it looks pretty good, man. Need to wipe them down a little bit. Let's cut the lights off. What y'all think about that film, man? It looks good, don't it? But, all right, let's get into this right quick. Now, as y'all can clearly see right here, my car says Alpine Sound System, right? 2019 Scat Pack, Alpine System. Six speaker, six speaker system. It has two speakers on the front dash. You got a six by nine in both of the, uh, the driver doors and the passenger doors. And granted, let me say these right here are only uh are only uh bass notes, but we'll come back to that in one minute. I'm gonna tell y'all what the problem is regarding this with this Alpine system. And then you got two in the back back there. Now I say, well man, this can't be the same thing, right? Now granted, let me show y'all something right quick. Now, these speakers right here, right, I pulled these out of my uh, 17 RT. I had switched them out with, uh, upgraded to JBL, JBL GTO 928s, two ohm uh, speakers. Y'all go back and check that video out. I did a comparison of the factory speakers versus the JBL speakers. And as y'all can see, this blue material right here, man, this is like a paper, plastic type of speaker, man. Little bitty, little bitty magnet on this thing. This is what they, this is what they gave me in the 2019 Scat Pack. Look at this crap. It's crap, man. So I wanted to see, was it anything different? from my 17 RT Alpine speaker system on this 19 one. Now I haven't even pulled it out yet. As y'all can see, this is the exact same speaker in this car. That's the right side. Here goes the left side. Here goes that one. The same exact thing. So you telling me I paid $45,000 for the same audio speaker crap. Now we're going to talk about the problems. Now we're going to talk about the problems of this system. Okay, one of the problems is, as you guys can see back here, the 6 by 9s that's off in the rear, man, they're completely covered up. Covered up, man, with this hard material right here i mean most of the time if they got the speakers covered up it's a, uh it's almost like a like a vent like a vent like material that'll be over the speakers so you can get some sound up out of the speakers this this thing right here is taking all of the sound from the six by nines in the back so when i get ready to upgrade my speaker system i'm gonna have to cut a hole in this and modify it where I can have my speaker coming out my rear decks. That's one of the main problems from this Alpine system that Dodge is putting in these cars. I don't know who came up with this idea, but it's crap. The next problem is this right here. Man, this don't even make no sound. All it does is play bass notes. I mean, it's, it's no words. <laughs> I mean, it's it's barely, you barely even hear the music from the track you're playing. All you hear from this uh, this speaker, this 6x9, is a bass note. 
Why would they want to put a bass note in a door speaker? I have no clue whatsoever. The next problem is you got two itty bitty 3.5 dash speakers. Stupid. Now we got three spots for speakers, but I guess in the Alpine, they only put in two in a corner. So I'm going to have to buy me another 3.5 so I can have three 3.5s in this front dash right here, guys. I'm going to have to take this 6x9 out, replace it, and run this 6x9 up to where the 3.5s is just to get a different tone out of that, man. So, I don't understand why Dodge is doing this when it's come to this Alpine system, man. So, this is just a quick video, a rant video, man. I'm very disappointed, man, in uh, this Alpine system, man. This is crap. So, I'm most definitely going to be doing a speaker upgrade, man. Y'all hit me up. Uh, in the comments, hit me up on IG at MD underscore promotions, man. If you guys can recommend any decent factory replacement uh, speakers, because this this thing right here, man, <laughs> it's, I, 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 I just can't rock with this Alpine system no more, man. And unfortunately, the JBLs that I previously bought, they don't sell those. JBL don't sell that model anymore. I think the lowest ohms they sell now is like 2.3 ohms. So I think they're the JBL uh, GTO 936 or 932, man. So if, if, if anybody tried those out and they and they dodge with the Alpine system, and y'all let me know uh, what was the outcome, man. So y'all stay tuned for that, man. I'm most definitely going to be doing that. But before y'all go, let me hit y'all with a coach.